So you presented price. In the last module, I went over the different objections you can get in terms of the figures, objecting to the price, objecting to the payment options, objecting to the interest, how to respond to those, and how to basically give them that, you know, deal on the spot, that quick close. Some people are gonna be a little different. They'll give you a variety of objections. Some, I gotta think about it. I gotta get other estimates. I gotta talk to my wife. I gotta pray about it. I gotta do all this stuff, but I can't do it now. Can I call you back? Where's your business card? You'll get that. How do you deal with that? Just a few words can get you the money in your commission. So, objection one is I've gotta think about it. It's pretty common, okay? I've got seven rebuttals that we call here. We wanna memorize rebuttals because these are the things that are gonna get you out of a jam and close a deal. If you can remember all these for every objection, you're gonna be one hell of a closer. The first one is convert to price. So if Mike were to say to me, hey Greg, listen, thanks for coming by. Um, do me a favor and leave your business card. I'll call you back in a couple days, right? If he were to say that to me, one of the ways I can respond is with the convert to price rebuttal. That rebuttal goes something like this. Hey, listen, Mike, thanks for having me. Completely understand. I will leave you my business card, but let me ask you something. You know, throughout this process, we really seem comfortable. I felt like I was on the same wavelength as you. But as soon as I revealed the price, I saw your eyes jump back a little bit. Let me ask you something. Was it the price I laid out or, or was it the payment options that kind of took you back more? The price. Well, how much did you think it was going to cost? For example, 2500 Okay, I see that we're just 350 bucks above that. Well, now that you see what we do and how we do things and what we represent, could you understand why it's more than you thought it would be? I still got to talk, talk it over with the missus. Listen, I completely understand that. But besides talking to your wife, would you say that it's just really the price tag that you thought it was a little high that you're objecting to? Yeah, mainly. Would you say at the end of the day that we impressed you the most out of anybody else that came in and how we conduct ourselves and the confidence you have to make you happy at the end of the job has to be the highest out of anybody that's stepped in here so far? You're my first estimate. Okay, great. That's absolutely fine. But based on what you've seen throughout life, have you ever talked to someone who's as sharp as I am and who really puts that emphasis on their work? I mean, you saw the videos. I saw the way you were happy with our presentation or product. Would you say we've got a good standing? Yeah, you do. Would you say that standing's valuable? I will say so. Right? I think being able to come in here and have confidence in us is a great value to you, especially in the industry we're in when contracting has so many complaints. We're definitely reliable. And I know you know that. And what I would say is that if your wife were here, she'd be very impressed with the way that we do things. So let me ask you, my father taught me to do our best that we can to try and do business because you gotta be that passionate about your work. If I were to set things up so that maybe we could actually come down $100 lower than what you thought it would be and set things up so that the guys could come in here immediately this week, like you said before, and get everything done for that price, and your wife agreed, you think we'd go ahead and get your job started? Because I might be able to help you. What do you think? Yeah, I'm open to it. Well, listen, if you could pay for the job with cash, okay, and you not even have to put the deposit down for cash, you can put a 25% deposit for check and the rest will be cash at the end of the project. And your wife agrees with it? You think we'd go ahead and welcome you to the premier floor and brand? Yeah, definitely. Well, listen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set you up for our same day discount. And I'm gonna give you this price of 2,400, but it doesn't come for free, it does come at a cost. I'm gonna want you to pay in cash like we talked about. Also, when we get this job done, I'm gonna want you to give us a good review, okay? Because reviews are how our business grows. You know, it doesn't stop here. I want you to tell your friend, I want you to brag at your backyard barbecue about the person who did your floors. It's because you'll be so proud of them. If you go ahead and take advantage of this, because this is a same day discount, because, you know, I'm kind of putting myself on the line down for you. We're coming down the price. But I need you to put that same trust in, into me. If you do that, not only will I promise you we're going to do a great job on your floors, but your wife will come in kissing you up and down. So, John, let me tell you something. I'm going to reach my hand across right now, and I want you to come back and shake it back.
because congratulations, we're welcoming you to the family. Thank you, thank you. Now, listen, Mike just made it really hard there. I was trying to explain the whole lesson, but that just goes to show if you memorize these and you really practice and drill them, you can be a, a star closer, man. That's the first one. Convert to prices. Hey, I saw your eyes jump back. Let me ask you, was it the price or the payment options that took you back more? Oh, it was the price? Boom, try to make a deal. Oh, it was the payment options? You know, what did you think it was going to be? And take them through that. Number two, on a scale of one to ten, Mr. Jones. Listen, I understand, right? You always take a step back. I understand. I agree with you. Uh, I know, you know, it's a, a free estimate. Yeah, sure, I'll leave you my business card. Well, let me ask you something. On a scale of one to ten in terms of how much you like our company, one being you hate us, ten being you love us, where do you think you stand, Mike? About a six right now. Just met you guys. Okay, I understand that. Well, listen, what would it take to really make it a ten? Hmm. Now, for the purposes of the video, Mike, we're trying to keep, we're trying to run through all these. Just make it like a, a moderate objection. You can lower the price a little bit. Okay. And then boom, now you've got a price objection. That's something you could handle. Well, Mike, how much did you think it was going to cost? There's a variety of rebuttals that we showed in old modules that you can use toward that. Keep your pens out and keep taking notes. Number three, it's my duty. You have to be an authority figure. Mr. Jones, it's my duty to close you in this home because 80% of projects in the construction industry end the complaint. And if I walk out that door, I'm giving you an 80% chance of failure. Number four, Mr. Jones, I'm not going to quit on you. Okay, I refuse to believe that we're not the best company to come in here. We are the best equipped to help you and represent your family and do this project for you. Number five, Mr. Jones, if you're not going to do it for yourself, would you do it for me? Because this is my passion and purpose. Careful with this one. Sometimes people like you and are invested in you will buy because of you. This is where you use number five. Number six, Mr. Jones. I understand that. Let me ask you something. If I was your trusted contractor for five years and I did all the projects in your home and you said, hey, Greg, how's it going? Nice to see you. And I came in and give you a new price. Wouldn't you say, hey, Greg, thanks for coming again. Nice seeing you. Hope the kids are good. Sure. Let's give you this deposit and get you started next week. Am I right? Of course I'm right. But John, I don't have that liberty of having that relationship with you. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Greg Prody. I'm the director of operations here at Premier Flooring. And I've been in thousands of homes and helps thousands of people. And every time I go in my home, I make it my duty to help these people out because I'm so passionate about the, my work and what we do. And I'll tell you, because of the way we conduct ourselves, it's because of our vision, because we plan on being the top flooring company in the Northeast in the next few years. And we're not going to get that by being wrong or giving bad prices. So believe me, Mike, if you put out your trust in me, the only thing you'll regret is that you didn't call me in last year. Sound fair enough? Boom. Shake the hand. You know, it's that's called looping. There's a lot of looping objections. We'll go over that later. Seven. No matter how long you think about it. Mr. Jones, would you think you need two to three days to think about it or two to three weeks? Or two, Mike, I should say. Two to three weeks. Okay, I can understand that. But listen, at the end of the day, no matter it's two to three days, two to three weeks, two to three years, the one thing that's not going to change about this project is that we're the best equipped to help you. And we have the highest chance of making you the happiest customer. And we're giving you the most value. So I need you to put your trust in me and I need your approval here. Many different objections. That's that I've got to think about it. Mike, hit the film.